Hey everybody, how's it going? On tonight's video, I want to talk about the Rogue Mechanical Tube Mod Clone. And I've already re uh, reviewed the 25mm version of it, which I've said it a bunch of times already. It's a beast. It's a fucking beast of a mod. If you're looking for a 25mm clone that's brass, put together well, good threads on it, really good button, and just hits every time, that one I'd recommend. So this is the 24mm Rogue, right, version of it. And this is completely engraved. And I don't mean laser engraved, I mean engraved. It's got all this real nice stuff going on, and then it's got the Rogue USA here. So um, let's just have a quick up close look at this, because I've already re talked about the inner workings of the 25 millimeter. Let's take a look at this little beauty. All right, so here's the Rogue 24 millimeter box. This box is a little bit more close to the authentic, uh, rather than that white thing with all the ink splatter on that the 25 millimeter one came with it. So it says that in the front. It says J-Mark Designs on one side. It says Made in America uh, on that side. And then the side, oddly, it says Made in China. <laughs> so we open it up. There's no um, bubble wrap or anything like that. There's just this nice kind of velvet kind of baggy, like the one that my broadside mod came in. And you open it up and look at this fella here. Look at this, guys. So this is, it's not, as I said, laser engraved. This is, it's lightly engraved. You can feel all the grooves and indentations and shapes and everything with your finger. Uh, fingers, and where it says Rogue USA, is deeply engraved. Like you can feel each letter. Uh, but other than that, it's the same as uh, the big guy here. It's uh, absolutely the same. It's got the four vent uh, holes, or the air circulation holes at the top. You might be able to see it here because of the engraving or my crappy lighting, but uh, it's up the top, the safe, same si style, 510 pin up the top, and then there's just a smaller version of the button. Uh, this one says Rogue, um, J-Mark design on it, and a serial number, 475. Um, but there's a difference in size, and it comes out the same way. You just hold it with your thumb or your finger, rotate the mod. I'm not going to th go through the whole workings of it because it's the exact same as the review I did on the full-size uh, guy there. But the button is absolutely works the same way. Two magnets uh, repelling against each other, which gives a spring effect. You get the Delrin insulator in there. Uh, you're able to take this uh, copper pin out if you just turn it or put like a little set of tweezers in there and twist it. Uh, there is a size difference between the, the OG button, you can see there, the OG, well the big guy button and the small one, you can see, uh, this is a small little fella, but this one doesn't have anything on it, it's just scratched, but uh, they're pretty much the same and they work the same, you put a battery in, um, I would put the battery in so that the positive is facing upwards because the ventilation holes are up the top, and then you just uh, telescope the button in, um, yeah. The, the review is the is would be the exact same as the other one. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this I just wanted to actually show off the engraving. If you'd seen this and you're thinking about getting it or you want to get a present for somebody or something, this actually looks really, really, really nice and goes with, uh, because of the the color on it, um, the actual, you know, the kind of black and copper finish. This is the copper one, by the way. Um, you know, copper RDAs or stainless steel or black light, anything will go with this because, because of the kind of black background in this copper here. Um, so that's about it. That's the, uh, the Rogue 24 mod, the engraved version. So yeah, it's great. It's just, it's a smaller version of, of the Rogue, you know. It's nice, it's small, it's about the same size as like an Able mod, that kind of size or like a broadside, whatever. And, um, I'm well fucking happy with it. I don't have much to say. Um, a link of where I got this, I'll put it in the description. I usually say check around Google and all this stuff, but for the price, this is really, really nice. You know, it's like usually when you get um, clones and stuff and they have engraving, it's always laser done and that stuff's going to come off after a few polishes. But, uh, you know, um, the, as I said already, the actual where it says Rogue USA is deeply engraved. I don't really see this coming off. So um, that's it. As I said, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, as always, feel free to subscribe, uh, like or dislike the video, drop a comment. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Good luck. And bye-bye.